Well, President Cyril Ramaphosa will lead a delegation that will attend the SACU summit to be held today in Botswana. The president will use the gathering to meet the SADC secretariat to discuss the implementation of regional programs. Earlier, we spoke to our reporter in Botswana, Mbali Tetane, and asked her about the preparations for the SACU summit. The preparations are, of course, in full swing, and I can tell you that um, just entering the specific venue, uh, you could already see that police have already made their way here. They're already setting up, as we expect members of states to come here tomorrow. Uh, now, we do know that uh, the Southern African uh, Customs Union is the oldest union in the world, and of course, it is made up of South Africa. It is also made up of Swaziland, Botswana. It is also made up of Lesotho, as well as Namibia. Now, of course, these member states will be meeting here tomorrow and will also be discussing some of their programs. Now, of course, joining us to give us more information of what to expect tomorrow, we, of course, have the DDG of the Trade and Industries uh, Department, uh, Umem Kolelwa. Now, Kolelwa, can you just let us know what can we expect in terms of the program uh, for tomorrow? Well, this is the sixth summit of heads of state and government, and they are meeting uh, in an annual meeting uh, to discuss the program of SACU. SACU is uh, trying to move towards a development integration agenda, and in order to achieve that, uh, the heads of state and government have agreed that we need to review the SACU agreement uh, so that we can implement the development integration agenda. And the aim of the development integration agenda is to ensure that as SACU, we are able to implement industrialization and promote uh, cross-border trade. So uh, SACU heads of state and government uh, last year in the fifth summit agreed to review the SACU agreement which will then facilitate the implementation of the development integration agenda. So tomorrow heads of states will receive a progress report with regards to the review. And the review aims uh, to review the revenue sharing formula so that we can uh, create a financing mechanism for the implementation of cross-border projects. But in addition, what we want to do is to review the architecture that is currently in the 2002 agreement so that it facilitates an agile tariff setting mechanism so that as a customs union, we are able to have an efficient tariff setting mechanism that will respond to the current developments on trade. And how important is it for South Africa to be part of the specific union? This is the oldest customs union in the world, as you have said. And of course, uh, what has been uh, defining SACU for now has been the revenue sharing arrangement as well as the common external tariff. So uh, South Africa's participation and active participation in that in SACU aims uh, to ensure that we are able as SACU for the first time in history to move towards implementation of cross-border projects. And this is an ambition that is shared uh, with uh, the Southern African a development community because all the SACU member states are also members of, of SADC. So it is important that um, we align ourselves uh, to the implementation of the SADC work program and you'd be aware uh, that one of the critical objectives of SADC is to move towards industrialization. So um, SACU using the SADC industrialization strategy as a basis aims to develop uh, regional value chains when it comes to industrialization. And how will South Africa also benefit uh, from this union? Well, South Africa is one of the most uh, diversified economies uh, in the customs union. So uh, what is important for us uh, in terms of the regional integration agenda is to ensure that true complementarities, we are able to look at how we can collaborate with the, the other uh, SACO countries in the area of industrial development, as well as infrastructure development. And in our view, this will unlock growth uh, in the region, but also ensure that we are able to change the structure of the SACU economies because all of us, we are mainly exporters of primary products. So if we focus on industrialization, which is now agreed to be the overarching theme in the new SACU work program, we'll be able to diversify our economies.